Attention all proud warriors! Have you ever considered joining Time Patrol? As a Time Patroller, you'll prevent history from being changed. Our duty is to protect everyone's memories and help return history to the way it should be. But we need your help. The only requirements are confidence in your capabilities and, of course, a strong desire to protect history. We've got a school for honing your skills and a fully equipped item shop. How about it? Why not use your strength to help out a great cause? <clears throat> We're always on the lookout for powerful warriors. Okay then, listen carefully. To maintain safety here, in Kanton City, home to the Time Patrol, there are a few rules you must keep. First, firing a Kamehameha within city limits is prohibited. Time Patrollers wishing to fly when not on duty are required to obtain a flying license. Please help keep Canton City safe by obeying its traffic laws. Lastly, any alteration of history is a grave offense. Our missions come with the risk of changing history. So you must exercise the utmost caution. Avoid making changes to history like Trunks did. Keeping these things in mind, please carry out your mission safely. For the sake of the world and its history, we, we look, look forward, forward to welcoming, welcoming each of you to the, the Time, Time Patrol. Patrol.
Here goes. Here go. Huh? <laughs> Daddy! This is the last time I gaze upon this planet. It's up to me. I will change the future! The legendary Super Saiyan has shown up. How very unsavory. Allow me to continue my vengeance. Vegeta! What? I finished that training armor you asked me for. <laughs> I found some wonderful material, so it should fit you like a glove compared to the old stuff. That's right! I made some state-of-the-art armor for my hard-working husband. I'm such a caring wife, aren't I? Oh, come on! 
Ugh, every day it's training, training, training. Are all Saiyans like this? For goodness sake. Ugh, you really know how to tick me off. Maybe I should just throw a huge birthday party. Not that it's anyone's birthday. One incoming report. Upon assessment of the situation, I have concluded that... Just wait one minute. <laughs> what was that for? You've been specifically chosen for that critical mission. Now go out there and do it. Why? Welcome home! <laughs> Great news! You've been chosen for that big mission! Congrats! Oh, cheer up! The Supreme Kai of Time has graciously appeared to give you her best wishes after all. I mean, really. Don't you think you're being a bit cold? So you're looking for the old man. When he heard you passed the test, he went off somewhere in a hurry. Why don't you go and look for him? You know what? I'm pretty sure that he was the happiest to hear about your success.
Hello. Right? <laughs> I won't allow myself to 
die before the entire world bows to me. I only have one more of those left. It needs to count. You have to hold it still. Got it. And you? I don't know who you are, but defend me with your life until I'm ready. What? What are you doing? Now, Piccolo, do it! Special Beam Cannon! Serves you right. What was that? Where did... That was some handy work. Those moves weren't half bad. Except for your entrance. Goku and Piccolo would surely have been defeated if you hadn't stepped in and saved them. Your job is helping to correct any inconsistencies like this that crop up in the timeline. This time went smoothly. But battles later on in history get intense. So continue with your training, because only the strong can correct history. But since you're training under the greatest Kai in the universe, there shouldn't be much to worry about. <laughs> as long as you listen to my advice, you'll come into your own eventually. And... Yeah, we get it. You really do ramble, old man. Listen here, Supreme Kai of Time. I'm only about a millennium older than you. That hardly makes me an old man. What are you saying? Anyone who laid eyes on you would easily call you an old man. Don't even try to compare yourself to an adorable girl like me. You call yourself adorable? How do you find a hat with a head that big? Ah, that's all from us for the moment. We'll tell you more about the world later on. <laughs> okay then. You've got to be bored half to death after listening to his speeches. Am I right? Allow me to walk you out. This way, please. Hey, wait! You can't just jump ahead like that!
Dingo! 